Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part three of my makeup series where I'm trying to show y'all different makeups. I'm trying to make them like little short videos for y'all but as you can tell you probably watched my first one maybe. It was my foundation and that was it foundation and then really my um, eyes and cheeks were tart um, with a little bit of um, Laura Geller on the cheeks as well and so now we're going to talk about lips. I have two lip lipsticks that I really like a lot and then um, the lip liner and um, I decided to go ahead and include the lips because I think people have noticed that I changed my lip color a little bit and I've been getting a lot of comments like what color is that what are you using so here we go this these are two different products this one is bite it's honeycomb okay can you see I think it's just so pretty but, and then this one is, this is by Laura Geller, same people that do my, my cheeks, Brooklyn Beige, all right? So at times when you see me in pictures, I'm really not exactly sure which one I'm using because they're so similar. So I'm gonna show you how similar they are. I'm gonna put the Laura uh, Geller on my top lip. And because my lips are uneven, I kind of extend out a little bit on this side, all right? So here we go. So that is the Laura Geller um, Brooklyn Beige on the top lip. I normally just do one or the other. I don't ever do both, but I'm just showing you on both, okay? And then this is Bite, and it is Honeycomb, and I'm going to do it on the bottom lip. And again, this part of my lip kind of goes in more, so I kind of go over a little bit more, too. Okay. Yeah, y'all can tell, can you tell a little bit different? So this one's a little bit more brown. This one's probably a little bit more pinkish. It's actually the first time I've ever done that with both colors. So we'll just go ahead and blend them this time. But mm -hmm. What I like about these, both of these, both of these lip products is that I can put them on and they will stay on a really, really, really long time. And that's great because I can eat. And so they may dry a little bit like it's, they're not as... Um, like fresh lipstick but the color is still there so then sometimes I'll just put like a little gloss or a little lip balm on top to make them pop a little bit and then here is it it is their lip liner it is buff nude and it's your lips but butter and then um, like I said with lip liners um, my frustrating thing is I feel like it's an expensive product that you kind of go through quickly even if it's a cheaper lip liner because then when I sharpen them and they break off I still never feel like I fully get my money's worth out of them, but I do like them. So whenever I do lip, line my lips, what I do is I really emphasize my cupid's bow because I kind of like to have that, I like having that peak on my lips. I'll put my liner on last and I, I learned this because when I had my makeup done by, um, oh, I wish I could remember her name. She did such a great job at the wedding. But that's what she did, she put my liner on last. So I put my liner on last, but it lets me emphasize kind of the unevenness of, not, I mean, it lets me correct the unevenness of my lips and then gives me, lets me kind of do my cupid's bow a little more. The lighting is not really good in here. I'm really sorry, y'all. I'll try to do the closing someplace where the lighting's a little better. But really, all I need to do for the rest of my makeup is I need to do my eyebrows and I need to put my mascara on. But then I would be done for the rest of the day. And all I would do for the rest of the day is maybe sometimes my nose gets a little red, so I'll put a little powder on my nose or dab more lipstick on. But my everything else, nothing else do I put anything else on throughout the rest of the day. So these products are really good. And I think if you bought them, you would like them. You may, it makes in the budget a little bit. But to me, sometimes if it stays on, then it's worth it. So even if it's drugstore products, make sure they stay. Oh, see when the sun goes down, it looks better. Um, if they're drugstore products and they stay on longer, that's worth it. If you're going to spend a lot of money, like I have spent money on high-end makeup, and it doesn't stay on me long. So it needs to stay on long for a while. Hey, everyone. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, last video. That was a three-part series to give you just a little bit of showing you some of the different makeup that I do use. I do always change my makeup out. 
um, I find something that I really like and I use it, use it, and then just I'll try something new. And there's nothing wrong with trying something new, so y'all can you can do the same. And so this was about lips, and I really, probably out of all of them, I don't know, I really do like this foundation too. Anyway, I do really like this lipstick a lot, and it's not making my lips peel. Um, I have to use a little bit more higher end lipstick because anytime I start going cheaper, my lips will start to peel, and then I um, bite it off. But sometimes the lipstick doesn't stay on very long, so this stays on long. Anyway, okay, hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to watch the video of me talking about my eyes and cheeks, you can click here. And if you want to subscribe, you can click here. And you can visit my website here. And as always, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's always Sherry LeBrant. Let me know any comments. If there's like something else you want me to do. I've been asked to do like formal makeup wear, but even when I do my makeup for formal wear, it's pretty much the same. Okay. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a wonderful week. Bye.